What is going on everybody? It is I, Strix, back at it with more Marvel Snap, and today I'm playing some Wakanda forever, uh, mostly because I got the Arnim Zola uh, variant pack. It's a costume party pack where he looks like a Game Boy. Uh, so I use him primarily in this deck, which is a, a, a Black Panther deck, uh, because when you play Black Panther, you follow up with Arnim Zola to play on two opposing sides, so that way you can activate his ability essentially twice. So yeah, that's the whole situation I got with that. I just really like this uh, variant that I got for Arnim Zola, so we're gonna work with that. All right, we got Howard the Duck down. Now, the reason I have Howard the Duck is because I can take a glance into my deck and see, okay, what do I got coming up and how can I start planning my attack? So now that I know that Okoye is coming in, I'm like, okay, I can start with her because I can start buffing Black Panther, which is still in my deck. So right now it looks like he's going with the Destroy. I got Zabu coming up next, so I'm going to put down Storm. Storm's going to get a little buff thanks to Forgy. Uh, this is the prior, this is uh, also a uh, pre-update, so Forgy is a little bit different. Ah, he's already playing up the Venom. Very nice. So now that Storm is going to be closing down Flooding, ideally the next card I get soon would be Black Panther, as you see him right there. So I'm going to lay down a couple cards into Flooding. Ah, he's playing the Phoenix Force! So he's going to look into getting himself a Nova, which is kind of a counterintuitive because unfortunately Nova's best ability is when he's destroyed. So he's really just there for uh, really um, power and emotional support. That's <laughs> pretty much it. But I got a Koye going in to buff up Black Panther, so there it is. Black Panther is going to be doubling up. Okay, he's using Deathlock on Wolverine. Thankfully, I already have Arnim Zola ready to go in my hand, so I'll be able to do exactly the combo I was mentioning earlier. There, Black Panther doubling up to 9, just because he's in Sewer System. And now, we play my costume Arnim Zola. Ooh, he played Alioth. In Baxter building, unfortunately, he did not realize how I was actually going to play. And that's his fault. Because if he knew that I was going to do the Arnim Zola on Black Panther, he would have played it properly. But the fool that he is did not realize that I was going to come out on top. Victorious, truly. All right. What do you got going on next here? Ooh, Black Mula. All right, Black Mula. What you got for me? Oh, he's got the very basic uh, avatar and, um, what, what you call it? avatar and uh, cover skin. So let's see. Quicksilver. Usually when I see Quicksilver, I automatically think uh, Agatha deck. So let's see what's going on here. All right. So, oop, Zabu and Luke's bar. Definitely an Agatha deck. <laughs> that's, I don't know why you would think to ever put... <laughs> yeah, that's that's only a, a, a move that would be done by an Agatha, possibly. All right, I'm just gonna, so here's it. I'm gonna go and storm down Luke's bar so I can utilize that location. Okay, he's got Domino. Yeah, definitely, definitely an Agatha deck um, because there's no way you would not do that kind of thing. So let's see here. I'm gonna skip because I need to open up the Collapse Mine. Okay, it looks like he's... Pretty, I got a 15 on a cloning that. It's not terrible, but not the best amount either. So let's see here. Gotcha, boy. BP Black Panther. Ready to double up. Collapse Mind is crushed. And we're going into the final turn. And you know what's coming. Your boy, AZ. Arnim Zola destroying BP and reapplying him into flooded and the collapsed mine. Yeah, as I said, Agatha. And just a little Umbaku to come and uh, support just a little bit, you know, for the emotional. And then there's the victory. Easy peasy. Mm. Honestly, it's pretty easy strategy to, to implement if you know what you're doing. All right, Chanticleer. Again, we're looking at a, a very basic, I don't know if these people are bots, I don't know if they're like, you know, they just, in, uh, they enjoy, excuse me, they enjoy the basics, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so now I played M'Baku, but I don't want to play, I can't play anything else, so it looks like we're going up against a discard. So Novaroma, good, giving me 
an extra pull. And we look up BP, back in action. So now we're gonna put Storm down. I like using Storm. Storm actually works thematically in a, in a Black Panther deck because um, Storm, if you don't know, T'Challa and uh, Storm, they're, you know, they're hubby and wifey. Uh, which is odd because Nakia is, is Nakia's supposed to be like also kind of a wifey uh, in some timelines to the Black Panther. But you know, it is what it is. All right, I'm going to put Forge down. So the next part is going to be Forge buffing up BP. So Black Panther dropping down. Oh, he's playing Carnage to get rid of Electro and put down X-23. Not a bad play. There's BP doubling up to 14. And now Arnim Zola, AZ, dropping him down. So we're going to just play it out. Destroying the Black Panther. And there we go. Like I said, it's an easy basic combination play. Um, it's It easily gets you like to this amount. Like it can get to 30, you can get to like an easy, easy 20 on either location. So it's a pretty simple deck to use if you if you have Black Panther. Looks like he's, uh, he tried changing up the location, but don't matter. A nice easy 30 victory on either side. That's how you play BPAZ.